All right, so uh, I'm going to ask you my signature question, although I do know a little bit about you. Tell me, Kojo, why are you famous? Good question, David. Why <laughs> am I not more famous? It would that's be no. Right. That's right. That's a uh, good way to look at it. <laughs> I think I'd have to answer that uh, I'm a comedian and a radio show host. Right. Mainly. Uh, and uh, you were, you were, do they have like Swedish Got Talent over here? Like yeah, a yeah, comedy show? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, you were well, on that? Yeah, that was my first TV gig, and that led me to radio. So, yeah. I'm were you a judge TV. on that? Or? No, I was a sidekick. I was a guy, you know, when they have like people who are gonna go on stage? Yeah. And there's one dude who's like, So, what are you gonna do? They're like, I'm gonna blow my nose. And I'm like, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, how long have you been blowing your nose? Like, since I was little. I'm like, Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so cool. I, I love your name. What? what is that Swedish, Kojo? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> Super Swedish. Kojo Akalor. Yeah, my parents yeah. were like, we have to give him a Swedish name. Yeah. Like, we are going to go for the most Swedish one we can find. <laughs> no, but uh, it's, it's from... Uh, my parents are from Ghana, West Coast Oh, that's Africa. cool. So, uh, in Ghana, it means basically, like, in Sweden, we have, like, name days. Like, uh -huh. for every day, there'll be a guy and a girl name for every day of the year. In Ghana, they were like, we will have 70, 40 names for seven days a week. And wow. that's it. <laughs> So they have like a seven day like schedule. So I was born on a Monday, and then it's like Kojo, and that's it. Well, uh, and did, did so one of your parents marry a Swedish, or they just, just said one, side, one day said, We don't want to see the sun anymore, we're going to move to Sweden? Yeah, they're like, It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> it's too, and now they're going, well, well, We make a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but uh, I think the prem no, but I asked my dad, and I have a friend, so what on, he's from uh, Kurdistan, and he has like this really dramatic story of like how his parents fled the country because yeah. they were being like prosecuted and shit. Not prosecuted, but pursued like by yeah. the army and shit. And I'm like, well, I guess like when my power, my dad told me, because I can relate to his story, because my dad was like, they were out of nuts in first class, and that shit was so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you yeah, I heard that eat. you do a lot of jokes about luxury problems. Huh? What are the three biggest. Uh, Luxury jokes you've got are the big, biggest problems. Well, I've actually, like, I wrote the name of the tour before I actually wrote any of the material. Oh, really? What which is that? a luxury problem for me right now. But um, I'd say, okay. like, the big thing in Sweden is usually, especially around winter, is uh, public transport. It pisses right. people off. It's like the trains are late and people are like, no, oh, I can't get to my job! Ah! Right. And it becomes like this thing, it's on the news, and they'll be interviewing people, and they're like, yeah, I woke up this morning, and uh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking of going right. to my job, and then the train didn't work, so I couldn't make it to my job. <laughs> yeah, well, like, if I, call my parents, if I call my relatives in Ghana, I'll be like, yeah, so the trains aren't working. They're like, what are trains? <laughs> you want the trains? <laughs> so it's, oh, thank you. Thank you. Well,